Hello everyone, it's me, Craig. We're back here to play and we're playing some fun and fun and probably download some more smiles and we'll play everything. <laughs> oh god, I'm using med kits and everything. What the fuck am I doing? <laughs> hey everyone, I'm back in this game. Uh, where were we laughing off? Oh yeah, we were to talk to Dr. Amari. Ah, and good neighbor. Oh, you gotta go find the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry about the voice. I, uh, I kind of, like, messed around one night with some friends and having a big laugh and whatnot, and we just kind of, like, uh, yeah, I, I just came up with a new voice. <laughs> it's so adorable and whatnot. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, yeah, it's been a while since I've, uh, record. Uh, about almost a month now. Or probably less than that, probably a few weeks. I've been, I don't know what I can explain to you guys. I would do an update or a video, or, like a blog or something. But the thing is, I have a feeling you guys are getting annoyed of that. And I understand, and I hate it. In a way, I don't know, it's hard to explain. But, for, uh, aside from always, like, what? Oh, hey, Piper. I'm trying to remember what keys is, key, what keys is what. I haven't been playing this game so long. There we go. Alright. So, for the past few weeks now, I've been pretty much, my sleep schedule has been all over the place. So, I've been sleeping in a day. So, hence why I don't. That's a le legendary. That is not the command. Oh god. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Crit him. Yeah. But yeah, for the past few weeks, my sleep schedule has been fucked up. I've been. I've been just blowing about. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh, God. So, I've tried to wake up through the day, and it's been failing me for the past... What about time? That is cool. Alright, I gotta bring up my... <laughs> I'm trying to learn everything. Okay, so while I'm looking at this, I've pretty much fucked up my sleep. So the past few weeks now, I've been sleeping the day, waking up in the nighttime. And because of that, I've been unable to do any recordings. And also at the same time, I would like to do some more paper, please. But you can't do that when you have, uh, like, core sores and pimples and all that stuff going on in your face. And it's like, ah, it's ugly. It's red. <laughs> So pretty much my coal store is almost gone, and yeah, I don't know why I'm talking about that. <laughs> you gotta go to the good neighbor. Are you serious? You can't walk through there? That's so stupid. You look like you can. Why would the game... Ugh. Whatever. Probably gonna be mines here. That's like my luckiest thing, probably. Uh, no, it's mole rats. Ow. <gasps> Sucks. I have bad aim. Thank you. Now, now, don't start what you can't finish. Uh, I think they can't finish it because they just died. But anyways... King, you mole rats! Oh, Jesus! Alright. Anyone else? No? Okay, then. Let's move on and go. Oh, we have... Good stuff. I'm just gonna quickly glance through, see what's 
better. <laughs> there has to be a way here. Because I'm going in circles right now, and I just want to get over to Good Neighbor. Ah, oh, man. This is the one thing I hate about Fallout series, or let alone a um, Bethesda game, is that they will make pathways look like it's takeable, and then you... Ow. Stop that. I'll take this. What's going on? It's gonna kill me. Be quiet, Sim. You're not talking your way out of this. Please, please help. I don't want to die. So keep your mouth shut. Someone, please help. This thing is gonna kill me. No more. All right. Let's save. You're not replacing me. Please. You gotta help me. This guy's a synth, and he, he's gonna kill me and replace me and my family. Oh, God. My kids. Don't you dare bring him up. He's the synth, and he wants to replace me. Please. Please, you gotta believe me. You can't what? let that thing do this. Whoa, 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 whoa. No one's dying. Let's all just calm down. No one has to die. No, he wants me dead. He's never gonna stop. I have to kill. Don't listen to him. It'll say anything to convince you. Put the gun down. Why don't you just tell me how this happened? How this uh, Fine. I, I was on my way to Bunker Hill. I round a bend, and I see this guy. Me. Gun drawn, ready to fire. After that, it's a, it's a blur. We scuffled for a while, but I won. Now, I don't know what else I can say to convince you. He's the synth. Now. Are you gonna get out of my way? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look, all I need is for you to put down the gun. Then we can talk this through. I... All right. I'm putting the gun away. Oh, thank God. Now I just have to dig two graves. Oh, okay. Here we go. How dare you lie to me? Did you die? You good? <clears throat> I, uh, I need to get out of here. God, I'm still shaking. Thank you. Again. No problem, man. But come on, I was talking normal. And you are a synth. You lied to me. What are you saying? You're a synth, synth component. That's 20 duck. You lied to me. How do I pick you up? I forget how to pick up things. Nope, that's cute. That's a... Uh... Prick. <laughs> Where do I go to get out of here? I just want to get to the place. That's all I want. Uh, I do not like the sound of that. Ah! What the fuck? Piper, where do you went? That's what I'm saying! No! Don't hear things! I just want to get the good neighbor! Please, no. She's gonna go in here. Until everything calms down. Then we can move on. Actually, no, I'm lying there. The reason why I'm coming in here is I think there's a book in here or a nuka cola quantum. Either way, this place is pretty safe. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this away. 
Uh, where are you, Nuka Cola Quantum? There you are. What's my weight capacity at right now? A hundred. Yeah, I'll well, take that. If anyone could figure out a use for it, it'd be you. Extinguisher books. I think that's it in here. I'm just gonna take a quick glance upstairs and then we'll move on. Fans are really, really worth it. A folder. Um, I don't know if folders are for the Brotherhood of Steel or not. There's a first aid here of two stem packs. I'll take those and yeah, that's it. Like I said, this is just here for either a book or a Nuka Cola Quantum. And in in the end, Nuka Cola Quantum is good for me because it will regenerate most of my health. In well, most of my health, it will actually regenerate more than my health. So like about let's just say my health is 200, it'll probably go to 400 or shit like that. I don't know exactly how much, but still, just believe me. Uh. <laughs> Alright. Will I be able to get to new uh, good neighbor? Why the dogs? Ow. Ow, stop it! No, need to run. Me hurt. Ow, me hurt. No, I don't think so. I'll take that. God damn, man. Why is everything wanting to kill me? I just want to get the good neighbor because I'm a good neighbor. There's gunfire. I'm just leaving. Here we go, finally. Look at this rifle. I want this rifle. Why do I have a shitty rifle when there's a cool rifle like this? Look at that, that's like a one-shot kill. Well, usually people are just like, oh man, it's, it's probably garbage and like whatnot. <laughs> hey, hold up there. First time in good neighbor? You can't go walking around without insurance. You better back off, or you're the one who's gonna need insurance. Whoa, whoa, hey, all right. We'll just say your insurance is paid up for now. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Time out. Someone steps through the gate the first time, they're a guest. You lay off that extortion crap. What do you care? He ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn. I said let him go. You soft, Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, there'll be a new man. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. Now, why'd you have to go and say that, huh? It's breaking my heart over here. Now, I know you had old Finn handled back there, but a mayor's gotta make a point sometimes. You alright? No! No, I don't want to! Uh... I'm fine. Thanks for taking care of him. Good. Now, don't let this incident taint your view of our little community. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Yeah. Everyone's welcome. Uh, I feel you. Yeah, I feel you. Good. You stay cool, and you'll be part of the neighborhood. So long as you remember who's in charge. <laughs> wow. That's a great way to fucking introduce myself. Well, hello. Everything here is guaranteed to injure, maim, or kill at your discretion. Except me. I only kill when I want to. Uh, who? <clears throat> what are you? I'm a woman, baby. <laughs> you certainly look like a woman. Yes. Then that's all that matters, <clears throat> right? Now, are you buying what I'm selling? I've got a few minutes to browse. Each weapon tested on someone who deserved it. I'm a woman, baby. <laughs> 
Alright. Yeah, I have enough. I can check out and see what kind of rifles is here. Ooh. 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 Looking at this lovely material. Ooh. Uh, 58. I think I'm gonna go for the first one. 51, but the range is better. No, never mind. I'm gonna go with the last one. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's switch that out. I really don't want a shotgun anymore. Any, like... I'm just gonna quickly glance. That's... Holy shit, that's really expensive. Like, I was thinking to myself, Oh yeah, we're gonna do this, but... Let me end now, man. Fuck that shit. <clears throat> All right. Um. Now let's go back to our guns and see what ammos I need. This is 308. 300 caps. Yes. This is 44s. There's currently no 44s. Interesting. This is cells. Do you have any cells? You don't have cells. What the fuck? Thank you. I just saw a fat man. Why do you have a fat man right there? What the hell? Uh, I'll put this right here. Alright, we're good. Just gonna run quick save and yeah. jump right in. Hello. <clears throat> well, well, Mr. Valentine. I thought you had forgotten about the lonely. I may have walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. Ooh! Amari's downstairs, you big flirt. Ooh! <laughs> I don't even know. Here, this is. Oh, wait, no, don't have radios. I don't want copyrights. <laughs> Hey Nick, how you doing? Wait, was I supposed to talk? No, you know, I go downstairs. Got it. Hello. Yes, I take it this isn't a social call. Hi. We need your help, Doctor. I need the memories from a man named Kellogg, but he's dead. I know it's asking for a miracle, Omari, but you've pulled off the impossible before. Are you too mad? aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse you don't realize that the memory simulators require intact living brains to function please nick told me you're the only one who can make this work this dead brain had inside knowledge of the institute amari the biggest scientific secret of the commonwealth you need this and so do we fine i'll take a look but no guarantees. Do you have it with you? Yeah, here you go. Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait, that's the hippocampus. <clears throat> and this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Ah, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Go on, Doctor. Mr. Valentine is an older generation synth. But Institute technology being what it is, the brain implant could fit him. But that's an incredible risk to take. We're talking about wiring something to his brain. 
Don't worry about me, Amari. I'm well past the warranty date anyway. I appreciate this, Nick. You can thank me when we've found your son. All right, let's do this. Yay, he's gonna get a brain surgery. <laughs> We're gonna put a little device in his head. And he's gonna go beep beep boop. Pull me out, okay? <laughs> let's see here. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. No. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. <clears throat> Are you feeling any different? <clears throat> There's a lot of flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. Tell me you have a way past this, Doc. Let me think. The encryption is too strong for a single mind. But what if we used to? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host, while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. All right. Let's get started. Just sit down over there and keep your fingers crossed. Sure. Oh yeah, I forgot to put on my uh chest piece. <clears throat> on the other side. Do I sit down here? The last time I sit in that chair and a uh, device went on my face, I was sent into uh, a stupid, stupid playground area with a bunch of houses nearby. And I, hi Piper, please. Please don't tell me I'm going to go in the playhouse area play again with all the people being all happy and whatnot. Migration between the transplant and the host. Please don't tell me. Activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. We are going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. Please, not the little girl and the doggy. No! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, everyone. <clears throat> Can you hear me? Ah, good. The simulation appears to be working, although the memories are quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. Uh, well, let me move. <clears throat> this is the earliest intact memory I can find. Turn down the goddamn radio! I'm trying to sleep! Remember, you are experiencing these memories as Kellogg. This may prove disorienting at first. Dad was either drunk or not around. I guess he must have run with one of the raider gangs, but I never really knew what he did. Don't know why Mom was with him. Maybe at some point in his life he wasn't a complete asshole. such a dummy back then. What did I know about how the world worked? I think now she wanted me to kill him. I should have. Instead, I ended up running away. I told myself I wanted to find somewhere out from under the thumb of the NCR and all their rules. But really, I was running from the guilt of not protecting her from Dad. Yeah, it doesn't matter now, though. People are always hoping for something better. They usually end up with something worse. Mom knew how it was. She wasn't soft, but uh, she loved me in, in her way. And she protected me from Dad. <laughs> that cost her more than a few beatings. I never knew what happened to her after I left. I didn't want to know. Not then. All right. <clears throat> what a joke. What's it mean, Mom? Nothing, Connie. People like to talk and hope someone else is going to keep them sane. The teacher at school said the NCR would bring back the good old days, like before the big war. 
Don't you listen to that twaddle. I'm going to stop sending you if that's what they're teaching you. I'm going out. Where the fuck did you put my boots? Listen to me, Connie. You take this. You're old enough. You're the man of the family now. It's your job to protect us. Your father's useless. But you won't turn out like him. You're a good boy. And all that on the radio. All useless talk. The only thing that will protect you in this world is that gun in your hands. You need to learn to use it if you're going to survive. I... I will, Mom. I promise. I won't let you down. You have always been my good boy. This doesn't seem to be what we're looking for. <clears throat> of course there not. There appears to be another intact memory close to you in the <clears throat> sequence. There. Try that one. And the other one appeared. All right, so guys, uh, it's already past uh, 20 minutes or so. Anyways, I'm going to step off. You'll see you in the next episode. <laughs> Until then, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.